Hey, what's up? So this is going to be my first uh, video for my series of my vlog. Um, today I'm painting the other seat for my pickup truck and I'm going to be showing you how to do that as well. So, uh, so if you're wondering what paint I'm using, I'm using um, SEM. It's a company in the United States. I'm from Canada. So I ordered it from there and you're going to need a Brillo pad or a Scotch-Brite pad um, and wax and grease remover. And that's pretty much all you're really going to need. Like I'm going pretty much budget cheap wise, but so far it's com coming out really good. So uh, I'll show you guys what's up. This was the first uh, seat I painted and it came out really, really good. Like the color's really vibrant and it looks like factory, which I really like. Um, the Duplicolor vinyl and uh, fabric spray, I don't really like because the it looks too cheap and it's too red. So this one I really, really like. So I'm wondering, this yeah. is my truck that I'm working on right here. It's a 2002 GMC Sierra uh, step side short box. This is what I'm working on right now. Um, it's a little messed up, obviously I have to clean it up. But as you can tell, it's been it's been worn out pretty good. I had to sew this with some red uh, red stitching because obviously it'll blend in better. But uh, yeah, let's get oh, into these it. are my uh, my new fenders that I'm putting on as well, and that's my console and some stuff I painted already. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Very simple process. Just take wax and grease remover, take a rag, wipe down the seat, and then after you're done with that, just take a scotch guard pad, go over it, clean it again, and then you're ready for paint. That's pretty much it. That's what I've been doing, and it's very easy. You don't have to be all professional and go all out and you know as long as you do your best that's that's what works so it's working for me and so far the results is amazing so yeah so now i'm just going to be using my uh, brillo pad and i'm going to be going over the entire seat so uh yeah Okay, so I got the seat all prepped up, so I'm just gonna go over it again with the uh, wax and grease remover. Um, I just get all the other shit off of it, and then I'm gonna hit it up with some paint, and uh, that's pretty much it. Oh, I almost forgot. You will need a um, heat gun. It just helps uh, throughout the process. Um, but like, I know some people want to wait 24 hours or three days for it to cure. I don't really give a shit because I'm not a professional. And I know most of us don't really want to wait. So if you have a heat gun, it definitely uh, speeds up everything. So, so yeah. Okay, so I'm ready to paint. Um, I would show you guys how to paint it, but I'm using an iPhone and I don't have the best angles. Um, I'm not very professional. I'm just trying to do what I can and what I have. So yeah. So I just laid down the first coat. This is literally just, just so I have something to stick to. Um, you don't have to go heavy if you want, if that's your style, you can. I personally wouldn't. Um, I know some spots are higher than the other. Um, I think that's just my technique because I kind of suck, but whatever. Yeah, so far so good. Okay, so it takes about two cans to do one seat, uh, which kind of sucks because this stuff's expensive. It's about 30 bucks a can, and I live in Canada, so everything's triple the price. Um, but if I think honestly to do full interior in a single cab truck, um, including dash, uh, the door panels, all the, the plastic trimming, um, I think you'd probably need about 10 cans total. Uh, I only got five, so because that's all they had. So uh, I just have to order some more, and yeah. So I just put the, um, I guess you could say the second coat down. So far so good. It's coming up really, really good. I'm liking the way it's coming out. Um, I'm probably gonna do four coats, if I can, five. Uh, Cause if I sit on it, I don't want it to crack uh, or look like shit. So, so yeah, let's keep going. So that was the third coat I just put down. Uh, so far you can tell it's coming out really, really good. Um, the seat belts, I don't know what to do with them. Um, I might just paint them red or black, I'm not sure. Um, I guess I have to see uh, when I'm done with the entire project, with all the other um, panels, and see where I go from there. Um, 
I might make another video of me painting the panels, but it's kind of worthless to be honest because the seats is obviously the main prize, right? Um, I'm also painting my truck as well, so that's gonna be in a future video. Um, and yeah, I guess let's get right back to it. Well, that's pretty much it. I uh, finished my seat. I think it looks really, really good. Uh, I know it's not the best. The seat's all tore, like, tore up and shit, but um, that's what I got. Um, I'm very happy with it. This, this paint here is amazing. If you're looking for more of a factory look, uh, I would definitely go with it. Again, it's uh, SEM. Um, it's a company produced out of the uh, United States. Uh, not sure where, but uh, they have a website. If you go on their website here, SEM, um, you can definitely get it. Uh, so yeah, um, I have more videos coming. I have a lot more parts for my truck uh, that I'm going to be installing. Um, and that's for a future video. So thanks for watching and uh, goodbye.